Hi, everyone. Welcome to your final presentation for the day. Uh, my name is Krista Reed, and I am a senior project director here at Accelerant Research. I know that we've had a, a great lineup of speakers today. Everyone was phenomenal. I hope you were able to share all of your questions, get responses, um, make connections. If there's anything that you would like to follow up with us on, please feel free to send us a note. You can email us. Um, all of our information should be available in the emails that you received for the event today. We're so happy to have our final speaker of the day uh, for our Accelerant Research Virtual Insights Conference. Before I introduce who he is and what he's going to talk about, I just wanted to cover a few more ground rules. I know you've probably heard this, the same tune, just a different day, different presenter, but we are working at the mercy of tech. So power outages, dogs barking, babies crying, Amazon deliveries, Uber Eats, all of those things can pop up at any time. So uh, we understand that. We know a lot of us are working from home. And so we're just trying to navigate through that and any glitches that might occur. So please just be mindful of that and stay with us if something does happen. But fingers crossed that it won't. We should be OK. And then use this opportunity to network, to engage. Make sure that you're sending your questions through us in the chat or whatever form is easiest for you to do so. We'll send our, um, our questions over to the speaker or presenter as quickly as we can so that they can address those during their presentation at the end once they've spoken about their topic. And then, of course, just uh, put on a happy face, be you know respectful, be mindful of uh, differences in everyone's opinions, and just, you know, let's just encourage everyone who's participating and the speaker as well. So with that, I'm going to introduce you to JC Peace. He's the Associate Director of Ad Sales and Strategic Insights at the Weather Channel. And he's going to talk about how the Weather Channel proves to brands that they drive more attentive audiences. So with that, JT, you can take it away. And thank you everyone for joining us. Thank you, Krista. And uh, thank you for the disclaimers. I'm hoping everything goes smoothly, but always appreciate it. Um, uh, as Krista said, I'm JTP, so I'm part of uh, the Strategic Insights team here at uh, the Weather Channel. Um, we're you know, a part of Allen Media Group um, and uh, Entertainment Studios. And in my role, um, we're, I'm really focused on uh, you know, trying to drive insights for the ad sales to drive more revenue with their brand and agency partners. Um, and, uh, you know, guide strategy when it comes to, you know, media measurement um, uh, across our across our whole portfolio. But uh, for today, I'm happy to be sharing, um, you know, some of the, uh, the, the work that we did with uh, T-Vision and how uh, we've proven with real data that, um, you know, we're, we're drawing attention to um, to the Weather Channel and we're uh, we're keeping our audiences engaged. So. Uh, with that, I'll get into it. Chris, is it sh is it showing on screen? Yes. Okay. Yes, it there sure is. Mm -hmm. uh, perfect. So, as I mentioned. Um, we are owned by Byron Allen, who, uh, if you guys haven't heard of Byron, he's really leading the way when it comes to the Black Owned Media Initiative um, and economic inclusion in the advertising marketplace. And um, if you haven't heard him speak on, on that, I would encourage all of you guys to uh, hear that message. So that definitely continues to be our guiding you know, mission and, you know, um, but you know, with that said, we uh, you know we we also sought to prove out with real data to you know that um, you know to, that our our audiences are more valuable to to brands. So you know, brands already know the Weather Channel brand. They know uh, that you know it's consumer trusted and safe home for their campaigns. Um, you know, we we've been voted the number one consumer trusted uh, news brand by the Harris Poll for eleven years in a row, and just last week, uh, YouGov and The Economist uh, came out with a poll that said we were most trusted by 
Americans uh, when it came to uh, different media organizations by actually by a, a wide margin. But on, on top of those things, um, we wanted to, you know, you know, provide our ad sales team with further proof of the value of our audiences with uh, the new data and technology uh, that's available. And, and one of the things that was top of mind was uh, attention. So we had this kind of a hypothesis, sorry, we had this hypothesis of, um, you know, given our content that's weather that we have these, you know, really live audiences that are tuning in to get their forecast, but we didn't have any data behind it that, you know, proved that our audiences were actually more engaged and uh, paying attention on screen. And, um, you know, we, we partnered with T-Vision, which who I'll get into in, in a bit, but uh, to, to, to prove that, and we uh, examined a number of areas. We looked at commercial time versus program time. Our, um, we looked at our, at our day parts, live studio coverage and um, versus like original content. And then as well, uh, you know, uh, obviously viewership during major storms uh, increases on uh, the Weather Channel. We wanted to look at how attention looked on those dates as opposed to uh, regular days. Uh, so as I mentioned, we partnered with T-Vision. And if you're not familiar with T-Vision, they have a panel of, uh, of 15,000 people. It's, you know, nationally representative and uh, they've actually combined that panel um, with the uh, with a proprietary technology that goes into the panelist's home um, and is able to measure um, when a person is is in the room um, that would be the uh, visible index that you guys will will see and then and then more importantly for um, for advertisers are, are are they paying attention on screen and their technology t visions technology can um, can measure, uh, you know, whether or not someone's eyes are on screen, you know, during uh, program or commercial time. Um, so what we found in executing this the study uh, last year with T-Vision is that, uh, you know, our, our hypothesis was true. If we looked at it, you know, during commercial time, uh, we delivered an audience that was 16% more attentive than your average TV network. And then Looking at our, you know, lifestyle and competitive uh, news networks that you know we're often competing with brands for, um, you can see that we stand out uh, amongst the competition, um, and in driving, you know, attention during commercial time. We, as I mentioned, we also looked at uh, studio and live coverage. Um, so taking you know news, just looking at news, Newsnet's studio coverage and comparing uh, Weather Channel studio news coverage, we saw that we were you know outpacing news networks by by eight percent. Um, so you know during those you know during you know when when people are uh, you know tuning into uh, those news programs during the program time, we saw that they're actually paying more attention to weather rather than the uh, the news uh, you know. Uh, other cable news networks. Uh, we also looked at, examined uh, different day parts and noticed that um, across all day parts of our schedule, we uh, we over delivered on uh, the attention index by by T Vision, um, and um, you can see that we you know outperform both our lifestyle and news competitive sets. Um, but with that said, we we did notice that. Um, morning programming is definitely, uh, you know, when people are paying uh, most attention, uh, and it, it's kind of intuitive, right? Like the when people are tuning in to try and get their uh, forecast for the day, um, we, you can see there's such a stark difference in attention on screen for the Weather Channel versus, uh, you know, cable news or even some of the you know big broadcast shows like Today Show or GMA where um, you, know, you can see the attention index is much, much lower where that's kind of background noise programming. Whereas you know, our audiences, when they do tune into uh, the Weather Channel, they're, um, you know, driving, we're driving significantly higher attention. And as a result, you know, just a better home for, for brands. We also looked at um, at storms. Um, so we looked at regular non-storm dates versus, you know, no, um, 
you know, for versus storms included. And we, you know, we, we saw that it, it was consistent. There wasn't any, um, you know, there wasn't a stark difference between the attention index or the, you know, in visible index or people in the room. It was really consistent between regular or storm dates, um, you know. So I think the takeaway here is that no matter what the forecast is, Weather Channel is driving uh, highly attentive audiences for brands. And then uh, the other cut that we looked at was uh, original content. Uh, you see here Frozen Gold, Uncharted Adventure. Those are just two new series. But um, you know, in comparison to some of the other lifestyle nets that have these, um, you know, uh, you know, well-known original content series that air, uh, we the the Weather Channel series actually drove much higher attention rates than. Uh, the original content on those lifestyle networks with over 27% higher. Um, so, uh, what, you know, our ad sales team is out in market with these insights today on top of, uh, you know, approaching, you know, the upfront and everything. But uh, we've, you know, we've uh, come away with some, you know, uh, reaction and some, you know, next steps that we want to uh, leave with. So, you know, we came away with granular uh, intelligence on how our day parts programs and types of content drive attention. Uh, and, you know, we realized our, our competitive advantage through that partnership with T-Vision. Um, during several, several ad sales meetings with agencies, we learned that attention metrics were currently being utilized by brands to inform their buying decisions. Um, <clears throat> so similar to things like purchasing data, location data, you know, brands are using attention. <clears throat> and then buyers also know that, you know, TWC is black owned and consumer safe, um, but they also know that we perform well on attention metrics. And, you know, we're open to exploring that further with, with our brands. Um, and then we're, you know, predominantly transacting traditionally today, but we're paying close attention to the TV measurement predicament and evaluating how we'll transact in the future. And, uh, you know, recognition that attention is a valuable input when trying to, uh, you know, better serve our brand partners and uh, deliver more valuable audiences. So uh, with that, I'll, uh, I'd like to close and open up to any questions. Krista and Bill, I'm going to take that as we're uh, we're good to go, and we'll follow up afterwards. Uh, I just saw someone come in, or Sarah and Nelson asked any details on the demographic. Uh, so the demographics we actually ran were all um, it was all on adults 18 18 plus, but um, Something we could, you know, we could examine further if there are particular brand, tar you know, if there are particular targets that brands want to reach. We, you know, obviously with T Vision's panel, we could look at, uh, we could look at uh, certain cuts, but just, you know, something we didn't examine in this study. Uh, let's see. Um, which geographic areas have higher viewership? Uh, so again, this was like, you know, we're looking at uh, TWC nationally in this case. And um, we, you know, we, you know, when, when we're, you know, kind of pitching to those national brands, we didn't, you know, didn't want to, um, we didn't include any, any, you know, um, specific DMAs or, or local cuts. And um, I'm not, uh, not exactly sure if that's something that, is even um, available with T with T Vision, but something uh, to potentially look at.
Uh, Christy, I think we could pr probably close. I'm not seeing any other questions. Sorry, I was uh, trying to get my camera no, <laughs> squared no back problem. away. Um, I was scrolling through YouTube and just uh, checking to see if we had any additional questions come through that channel, and we don't. So um, I think we've addressed everything. Uh, JT, thank you so much for your time and for walking us through this presentation. I guess we can just do one last call if anyone who is joining on Zoom would like to submit a final question. Uh, we do have a few more minutes left in this time slot, so we're happy to cover those. We can just kind of stand by for a little bit. And it doesn't look like anything else is coming through, so thanks so much uh, thank to everyone you. who participated. Thank you, JT, for your presentation. And I really enjoyed it. I know the rest of the group did as well. And mm -hmm. thanks to all for uh, joining us for another Excellent Research Virtual Insights Conference. Have a good one. And thanks again, JT. Thank you, Krista. Have a good one, everyone. Bye.